I am going to demonstrate how to map some census data with Google Fusion. You will need a Google account, a data file and some boundaries. In this example I am using 2011 census aggregate data, specifically local authority level data concerning people working in the manufacturing industry. I downloaded these data from infuse.ukdataservice.ac.uk. Let's start. Go to drive.google.com. Log in with your Google account and click New, More, and Google Fusion Tables. If you don't see Google Fusion Tables, click Connect More Apps and search for Google Fusion Tables. So now we need to browse to your data file. Click Open and then Next. You will now see a preview of the data. Click Next again and you can now fill in some details about the data. And when done, click Finish. You have now uploaded your data. Now you need to add some boundaries that match the data. So let's go to File and Merge. At the bottom of the pop-up you can see this box here and this is where you can paste in the boundaries. Now I've got this URL here, I've just pasted that in and then click Next. Now we need to tell Google Fusion which columns to use. So I'm going to use Geocode and Geocode. Now click Next and let's check all columns are selected, which they are, and then click Merge. Now let's click View Table. You now may need to wait a little bit of time while the data is processed. Right, let's click on Map of Geometry. And now, and now you should see a map. Now we need to make some changes, so click on Change Feature Styles, and then let's click Fill Colour, and now let's click Gradient. Ah, tick Show Gradient. Now we want to change which column it uses, so I know I created a column, P stands for percentage of people who are employed in manufacturing, so I'll click that. By default the range is 0 to 100, but these data have a narrower range which you can see here. Let's click this, use this range. Great, now you can see the from to through have changed. And click save. So that's it, that's how you create a basic Coropleth map. Now you can zoom in a bit and you can see how the different shadings reflect different figures throughout the map. You can change aspects such as the colours, the amount and bandings of the classification. It's also a good idea to add a legend, so play around with these options. To add a legend, go to Change Features Styles, and here you can see some of the options. So let's click Automatic Legend, tick this here, and you can change that to be more meaningful if you wanted to, and shows the position, so I'll stick there and click Save. Thank you for watching.